Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use game controllers to control your avatars using humanoid control. For game controller input it has a special script which is control, uh, called controller input. controller input. And it enables you to uh, uh, do all kinds of actions connected to the buttons and sticks of each controller. But as not all controllers are the same, you can select different views of uh, the controller input. So for example, the Xbox controller has a different set of inputs than the Steam VR uh, controllers, which actually do not have any fire or activation buttons. And uh, when you go to the Oculus Touch, for example, they have an A and B button on the right side, but doesn't have a menu but button, for example. So by selecting different views, you can see and uh, design your uh, environment uh, adjusted to the different controllers. So in this demo, I'm going to use the Xbox controller to move around my, my default avatar. And uh, I can select different actions for different inputs from the controller. So for example, when I go to the vertical, uh, left vertical stick input, I can select all kinds of options, different parts of the, uh, of the avatar can be moved around. Uh, but we start with the humanoid as a whole, and we can actually select all kinds of functions on the avatar or, or as a whole. And we start with just moving the avatar forward and sidewards with the left button, uh, the left stick of our avatar. So you can see I can walk around my avatar in this way. And in the same way I can use the right stick uh, to uh, rotate my avatar. So humanoid rotate and now I can walk around with my uh, left stick and rotate my avatar with the right stick. So this enables you to select with how your uh, avatar can move around. Uh, but you can also as, uh, access different parts of the avatar. For example, you can use uh, the right stick to uh, manipulate the head, uh, the rotation of the head for, uh, in this case. So instead of rotation of the whole avatar, now I can just look around and see the scenery using my right stick. And just like the head, we can also uh, uh, assign actions to the hands for example, I can use the left trigger of my controller to uh, manipulate the left hand and I can set uh, a, a function to the hand, uh, for example, setting the hand to a closed position. And the same way we can do the right hand, set a pose to a closed position. So now you could see that I can actually move my hand fingers by uh, using my tri triggers. Of course with an Xbox controller it doesn't make a lot of sense but when you do this with hand tracking with uh, Oculus Rift or, or uh, Steam VR, it, uh, it enables you to grab objects. Um, so if you're wondering what kind of functions are available for, for different parts of, the, of uh, the body and what they will do, the, be uh, the best thing to do is just go to the script itself and click on this little manual uh, icon and then you, uh, you will be directed to the documentation of that script and at the bottom of that script you will find the methods available and with descriptions of all the methods available for that part of the body which you can access using the controller input script. So this is part of the humanoid itself but you can also manipulate other objects and that you can do using uh, selecting the other uh, entry. We, we skip uh, animator for the moment, we'll come back to that later. But with other objects we can uh, uh, manipulate other objects besides the humanoid. For example, I have two directional lights in my scene and I want to uh, switch it on and off using controller input buttons. So I, in, uh, I can select here an other game object and I can actually drag the directional light to this and now I will be able to access the functions of this light and uh, manipulate the light object in this way. Unfortunately the de default actions do not include switching off or, or on uh, the light itself 
so we have to write a simple function ourselves. So I go to the directional light and now I add a function which I have written before. It's a very simple one which is called light switch and I will show it to you. Well, basically what it does is it's getting the light component from the game object and then I provide a function, a public function which is called toggle and that basically toggles the status of the light on and off. So now that I have added this function to my light object I can actually manipulate it using the function list here in the controller input. So now I can toggle the light switch of the directional light in this way and in the same way I can use another entry for the other directional light. Uh, oh, didn't add the light switch script so here's the light switch, light switch script again added to the object and now I can access the light switch. So now when I press play and I press the A and B buttons, you see I am able to switch on uh, the lights again in this way. Okay, so we skipped one entry which is called the animator and we can select it here but you will see that there's nothing behind it because actually there is no animator in the scene right now or, or, or animator attached to the humanoid. Uh, right now. You can see it in this line. We do have animator, but that's the default built-in procedural animator. But what we are referring here to is the animator controller, which is actually collect connected to animations. And when I can select my own animator for animating the uh, humanoid, and in this case I'm going to use uh, a Kyle Robot um, animation which is used in an introduction of video for, uh, for uh, animations which you may, uh, may recognize and as soon as I've selected here an animator you will see that I have a number of options to select and these options are actually the parameters of the animator so uh, I can show them when you select the Kyle Robot and you go to the animator you see all the stage changes of, uh, of the animations you may recognize but you can also see that in the parameter list you will see four parameters and these parameters actually control the animations and the state changes between the animations and now in our humanoid we will be able to access these state uh, parameters so for example I can now connect the vertical axis of my left uh, controller stick to the speed of the, uh, of the animation and the horizontal one I can select the direction. And now I have to zoom out because it's running quite fast. Uh, when I press play I can use my left stick to control the animation you may recognize in uh, from the introduction of uh, uh, this uh, cow robot thing. In the same way we can use also buttons uh, for example the A and B button to uh, manipulate the other uh, uh, parameters and for that I'm going to clear this one first because now I can uh, select the animator again and for example the A button is connected to the jump and in the same way uh, let's set this to none first so now I can select animator and this one will be connected to the waving uh, motion of the, of the avatar so when I press play I can walk around and now wave my hand high and make the mod jump okay so you see in this way you can co uh, manipulate uh, all kinds of aspects of the humanoid uh, animations and uh, interaction with the environment in the way you want with just uh, selecting a, a number of, of options. So no real uh, hard programming uh, involved anymore, it's just selecting the right things. Only in certain cases you might want to create some small scripts. To, uh, to do the exact thing you want or to add some additional parameters. Okay, thank you for watching and see you back in the next video.